Hey, welcome to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, tonight's episode features a brew from uh, Magic Hat Brewing Company. This is their TFG uh, India Pell L. It's Magic Hat. TFG stands for uh, Taken for Granted. It's like a minor thing. Um, there's a little video on their uh, website. It shows like a little piece of granite getting blasted with a uh, sledgehammer and uh, this beer cans inside there. Uh, this is a 6.6% alcohol by volume, 66 IBU. And it's a pretty cool can. Uh, you got the granite on there. You got the TFG, the little Magic Hat logo up there. So uh, nice little can. The back of it says, uh, we chipped away layer after layer to reveal this rock solid IPA. Uh, crisp and smooth malt backing. Uh, TFG is a juicy IPA with hop notes of grapefruit, orange, peach, and cherry. Hmm, cherry. Uh, that will mine your every taste bud. All right, let's see if we can pick up any uh, cherry in there. That's a, uh, unusual, um unusual notes to get from a uh, brew, but let's see if we can get that, uh, pick that up. Uh, definitely just picking up a combination of a bunch of different fruits, to be honest with you. Uh, it's pouring uh, like a just an off-white head on there. Kind of a ambery color. Set that there. Yeah, a bit of a ambery color. Not a lot of carbonation bubbles I'm picking up inside the glass. Uh, there is some popping up on top in the head, of course, but not the uh, normal carbonation bubbles everywhere. Actually looks pretty darn good. It's like an amber, like a juice color. Um, I think it might be looking a little bit more ambery in the camera than what, it, what I'm picking up. But uh, definitely a nice color to it. Definitely picking up a bunch of different fruits. Now I'm just focused on that cherry. I want to say I do kind of pick up a little cherry, but um, it could just be so many of the different uh, fruit aromas in there together. Definitely um, a pleasant aroma. There, get a look at that. Uh, the hops are Magnum, Nugget, Simcoe, uh, Amarillo, and Cascade. At least that's what I found when I um, searched the beer to see what uh, see what hops and malts it was made with. Uh, heads dying out very fast. You saw we had about two finger, now we're down to about one finger on that there. Let's go ahead and uh, get a drink on. I'm getting like a malty, like a malty taste. Definitely picking up um, a hoppy flavor to it as well. Um, the lacing is, ah, it's still lacing pretty good. The head's about, about gone on it. Definitely picking up some orange. Now nah, I just keep thinking of cherry. Uh, anyhow, definitely a big uh, fruity vibe. Um, coming off of this thing, uh, malty, hoppy taste. It's uh, 66 IBU, 6.6% 6 .6 alcohol uh, by volume. It's actually pretty solid. You know, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, that Magic Hat number nine or whatever it is, I, I don't think I was a fan of that. Um, so uh, this here, I am... Um, I'm pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised um, and pleased with this here, um, with this here IPA. Anyhow, uh, going right to my uh, scoring chart up here, zero. I don't want to see this crap again. Uh, six. I push an old person down to get the last one. I'm gonna clock this in at about a 3.75 out of six. Um, this is definitely solid. If it's in your area, your IPA person. 
um, go ahead and uh, pick this up try it out for yourself um, it's not so hoppy that's gonna blow your head off but it does have a nice uh, well-balanced uh, medium body feel so anyhow uh, 3.75 out of 6 that's my thoughts.